All right, this next one is going to be about rubidium. This is a metal that costs more than gold for some reason, even though it's not that difficult to make. Well, it's also not terribly rare on the Earth's crust. And I'm pretty sure it's because there's not a lot of people that are making this metal. And it's also more difficult to separate or something like that. But distilling the metal is not is not terribly hard, but you have to do it under vacuum and stuff like that. Because rubidium is very sensitive to oxygen, like literally very, 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 very sensitive. And if this metal were to sit out in open air for about one second or so, it will turn completely dark into um, a mess. It would just instantly corrode and it would also melt itself because it generates a lot of heat and possibly even self-ignite. You sure don't want that to happen with something so expensive like this metal, right? Well, as you can see, we keep it inside here because there's argon gas inside. And that gas will not allow anything to react with this metal. And it looks... Nice and shiny. It looks like liquid silver. And by the way, if I were to put this in a hot surface, like if I were to if I were to have a fever, to, like just over a hundred degrees, then I could probably melt this metal with my hands. But obviously, it's a bit hard to do because it's surrounded by this huge chunk of acrylic. And if you were to put this metal in water, something a lot worse happens. It explodes violently, and literally, it just goes kaboom! That happens in less than one second if you put it in water. And even though the metal looks like it's hard, it looks... Um, like that. It's actually extremely soft, and you can literally squeeze it between your fingers with little force. It's just crazy. It's like Play-Doh or something like that.